All right, guys, we're going to replace this neutral safety switch. Um, we have an issue with this neutral sw safety switch. It's not coding or anything. We don't have any codes uh, when we pull the scan tool or anything. But it, it is it is frozen up inside of here where the shaft goes through it. And what it's done is, is it's making it really hard to get in and out of gear. I mean, it takes everything I got just to push that thing forward. So uh, getting that thing in and out of gear has been, uh, been a hassle. We're gonna replace this neutral safety switch for you up a little bit. So uh, what we do here is push that tab in and unplug it. All right, the scariest part about replacing this, guys, is this nut right here. I have put too much pressure on this, and I have snapped that off and have to go inside and, and put a whole new linkage and everything. Uh, and I have also uh, broke the rooster cone inside because I was putting so much pressure here that the rooster cone couldn't hold it, so it would snap the rooster cone off. I hope that I don't end up with that because I've done had the pan off of it. I done flooded it back up and now we're going to replace it. I kind of done this backwards, but anyway, um, we're going to see if we can get that off there and, and not have too much trouble doing it. So like I said, I'm only going to put so much pressure and then I'm going to back off and we're going to, it came loose. We lucked out on that. I have seen these things so tight. Uh-oh, I might have spoke too soon. It's tightening up on me. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just keep that camera right there for a second. Guys, you can do what I'm about to do. The only thing is, if you get with that nut all the way against there, if you get that real, real hot, you could damage the seal inside of here and you have to replace that seal. I'll probably replace it anyway, but I've got one. Uh, but if you know if you don't have one, then, then you may end up in trouble. If this one doesn't look like it's been leaking, then I'm not going to replace it anyway, but uh, I don't want to cause myself any issues. We're just going to heat that nut up just a little bit. Or maybe a lot, I don't know. See if we can get it to oh yeah that's a lot better man when those things start tightening up they scare me i broke several of them off end up with a with about a 30 minute job turning into a couple hour job trying to locate parts and do everything i need to get done It comes out a couple threads and then it tightens back up. I'm just going to keep heating it and keep working with it. I'm telling you, the last thing you want to do is break that nut off. If you can keep from it in any way, it's best to not take a chance on breaking it off. All right, I got it now. Yeah. What I want to show you is on this, on replacing these, is what they do is they rust inside here on this shaft, and the shaft swells up and it and it shoves the plastic out against this. You got to clean that off really good. Let me uh, change my tools here and get me a glove so I can get that off there. Uh, Okay. Ooh, that dude got hot in a minute, didn't it? I may have to get me up. There we go. All right, let me. And this is where it's going to get interesting. I get these two little boats out of here, and this, I have a bad feeling that I ain't going to get this off there very easy. May even end up with a chisel on that plastic and, and busting it loose.
but when it gets in this kind of shape, you got to do something or you're going to tear in your... You end up tearing up your shifter up on, or your cable, or breaking something up on uh, the steering column because it's just too hard to pull down into gear. This thing has gotten, uh, it's about as bad as I've seen one, so. Okay, so I got me a bar now. Let's put it right up behind there. Oh, gosh. That should slide right off there. You gotta watch. See how I'm bending that pan up? You don't want to do too much of that. I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of pushing it right there of uh i've ended up having a pan leak so uh i'm gonna have to quit that and i'm gonna have to go about this in a different direction um, or i'm going to buy having to buy a pan to get it to stop leaking this thing is these things can be a pain in the butt to get off of there There we go. That's how they usually come off, just like that. You see the plastic still on there? I really haven't accomplished anything yet. So uh, I'm gonna heat that plastic up, try to bust it off there and show you why that this thing went bad. Okay, so I found me a chisel and a hammer here. Again, you don't wanna hit this too hard. If you hit it very hard, then you're going to, uh, you could take a chance on breaking that shaft or bending that shaft. So you just want to kind of tap it. And you're just trying to break that plastic off there a little bit like that. That's perfect. Uh, get that to coming off of there. Man, I tell you, this one is in bad shape. I'm glad that I showed my video on this one because last thing i want you to do is watch one of those videos where these guys just pull this thing off and it's simple and easy and no problems and all that but you see how uh you see how rusted that shaft is you see that big chunk of metal right there you watch when i tap that and watch it come off there you watch this come off there Yeah, see that? That's what you got to get off there. You got to clean this all the way down to that, that metal and uh, and get it nice and shiny. There's two grooves. Uh, there's one that'll be close to the top right here. There's another groove right here. You got to clean those grooves out real good and make sure that you don't apply too much pressure putting your, your new uh, neutral safety switch on. So I'm going to take a break and clean this up and then we'll finish this video up okay guys i got the uh the shaft all cleaned up on this thing uh for this neutral safety switch i just used uh 120 emery cloth it's real easy i just put it around there and just pull down on it shine it up real good clean it up the grooves is the hardest part getting those grooves cleaned out is really uh it, it's hard to get them cleaned out but this takes a little time uh this is how you'll want this thing to slide on here. If, it, if it's any harder than this to get on, then you, you take a chance on breaking it in here and then it's not going to, uh, you may not even be able to start your vehicle. So you just want to slide on that easy. And, uh, and what you have up here on the top of it, let me pull it back off here. Right here, if you look, you see these marks? This mark lines up in neutral. You'll want those two marks lined up. Uh, you'll, you'll put your neutral safety switch on and you make sure your vehicle is in neutral, uh, the shifter is in neutral. Put your neutral safety switch on and then move it until those marks line up. I'll show you how to do that. But anyway, uh, let's get this in. this back on here all right Let's see where we're at I have no clue what gear we're in man that is moving so much easier uh, here we go now we're in neutral pull this down there to where those marks line up see 
how close I am. Can you see those marks with that camera? Do you see them? Put it right here. Let me see if I can adjust the slide. Get another light here. There, you see the marks right there. It looks like the adjustment's just going to be all the way to the end of the neutral safety switch. That's what it looks like. We got them started. Get your boat started and then move it. And that's what it is. Uh, it, this one here will adjust just all the way to the to the end of the boats there. So. Let me tighten these bolts up. Trying to do too much, got too much in my hands. Got them on there and I greased everything up real good so that it would slide back back together. Put your shifter on there. And the same way with putting this nut back on our guys, just make sure that you don't uh, that this thing don't start binding up and you put too much pressure. You definitely do not want to break that off. If you do, you're going to be looking for a transmission guy because those are a little bit tough to get in there. All right, and there we go. Man, that is so much easier uh, to get in and out of gear. I'm going to try to straighten this pan up a little bit.